Hello guys and gals and welcome to Farming Simulator 22 Elm Creek We're back doing Farming Simulator 22. We're on Elm Creek. What are you doing walking here? This is my house. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, I'm talking to you. Now what? Yeah, now what you gonna do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh in your face yeah i'll get in your face hey guys and gals sorry about that um i i recorded two episodes back to back um but obs decided not to record the game sound and not record my voice so instead of trashing and restarting i just decided i'm just gonna go ahead and do it we are in farm manager mode and I'm just gonna hop in my pickup truck. And this is the house. We I, I'm using the bus as my sleep area. So when I want to go to sleep at night, that's where I go. Because in Farm Manager, you don't start off with a house. And I wanted to do something a little different. So this is my farm. Over here, I got... Over here, I got two trailers, as you can see. Let's just get rid of that for right now. I got a grain trailer and a flatbed. And this is the auto loader flatbed from Papa Smurf. Um, I'll leave a link to Papa Smurf's website. And we got our <coughs> We got our silos, we got our stone silo, we got our fill <laughs> seeds and stuff like that. I don't know what she's barking at. And diesel, which is full of fuel. Let's get back in the truck. And I'm just going to drive to here. And we'll get out. We'll go um, right to the left this time. I do have a big water truck. And I think I got this from Lambo. Modding. I got a baler. I got a um, cedar. A planter. I got a roller. I got a weeder. I should have more than that. Where is... I'm missing something. I'm missing my plow. Where's my plow? Oh, that's right. Plow didn't come in there. I got a rock so, so a weeder and a rock gatherer. My plow's over there. Yeah, my plow's over here. And it's also my cultivator, so I can use both. Okay, we got a harvester. This one here is my fertilizer. This one here is my limer. You can tell the difference. This has the high one, this has the low one. Here's my tractor trailer to haul those two trailers around. This is my wagon. This is my utility tractor, and this is my stump grinder slash tree getaway and trailer. So I just put it all in one, and if you don't like it, that stuff. But that's all the equipment I'm going to mainly use. But right now, we need to hop in the harvester. Now, I have added a little bit more to this. I have added a little bit more to Elm Creek. I bought some land and donated a field to, um, I did donate a field to the city and donated a new fire station, new police station, and donated a whole bunch of equipment for them. 
we got a volunteer fire department, but it's active. I'm active on it. So. But we need to work on one of the fields that I bought over here first. Because there's some more work I still have to do. And I got and I'm gonna turn that into a grass field. And we'll get some equipment over there. But we have added a few things. We've added the Lambo Fire Department and Police Station, the fire pack and the police pack, uh, the cop package. I'll leave a link to um, Lambo's uh, Patreon page. That's where I got them from. And we'll go over this here in a second. I just want to get this thing started. We got a whole bunch of stuff in here to take a look. We even have helicopters. Yes, sir. We got light flight. Yes. Um, uh, this is the mechanic. This is the service. Of, yeah. This is the service area for um, city vehicles and stuff like that. I donated that to you. I'm just a big donated guy. But we'll go over everything over here in a second. I want to get this field harvested and set up a few things over here later. Um, let's start on this side. Everything's screwed up here. I got to fix this. Oh, I'm full for it. It's doing it. Okay. It's doing it. I'll get that later. Let's hop out of this. And we'll go over to this section while that's working. We'll start with the... We'll start with the fire department. We even have a fire helicopter. Okay, out here we got the, this is, I don't know what this is, it's part of Lambo's mod. Right. Oh, I'm so, so, oh, that's right here. Vehicles use liquid fertilizer, so I have to go get a whole bunch of liquid fertilizer. Yeah. This is a trailer. Fire trailer. So you, they can set this up, fire command, and stuff like this. This is the ambulance. We got two ambulances here. We'll come inside here. This is a mini pumper. This is good for brush fires and um, vehicle fires and stuff like that. We have two pumpers, even though the same number. We got two pumpers here, uh, two engines here. We got a tower truck here. And 
Yeah, the little when we when the pest when the fair comes around and don't disregard Mayberry. This is mod I found somewhere else and only it had Mayberry on it. Um and I got some of the mods. I was thinking about doing maybe a Mayberry scene a s scene of farming simulator. But this is a um cart that we use um, during the fair and, and special events that the city has when they close down sec certain s sections we can we got lights on this and we can get in and out easy instead of bringing the ambulance we can bring the patient to the ambulance with this and it also has a um, small tank and a little engine so in case some, if one of the fans catches on fire, one of the cooking stations catches on fire in the fair, or if anything inside the area that where we can't get a engine in, we can use this. Okay, now we also have this hazmat vehicle. Unfortunately, um, we can't change colors. Our fire department color and the city colors are uh, John Deere green and John Deere yellow. But this is our hazmat truck. This we also use for fairs and stuff like that for us to get around. Um, sometimes we can, t we can even tow that trailer with us. So if we want to set it up in a area where we can't get a pickup truck or anything like that. Got some spare tires. You can climb the ladders. Some stuff over here. I like this fire department. This is this is what a fire department should look. I love the helicopter on here. But we have. I, I still got to do some more detail work. Oh, I think no. I tried to do it. We have the fire danger sign. So people know it's dangerous. This is for forestry. I tried to paint this with grass, but it wouldn't let me for some reason. And we can come in here. This is the re reception area. You can check in here if you... Sam here can um, give you copies of fire reports or if information get your um burn permits here and stuff like that it's, it's actually pretty nice nice uh hearse tool and mat and face mask and uh, um breathing system we don't we don't breathe oxygen in these uh air pack that's what it's like a nice model got a helmet now they mass got some fire engines and stuff like that but since we work here we since we're volunteer here we can come in here we got a couple report desks so want to make servers in here um some workstations if you, if you want do paperwork and stuff like that Sam, he's 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 the only full-time employee we got here. He's paid to work here. Hey, hey, John, how you doing? Uh, just waiting for a call, watching TV. And yeah, we got a nice TV here. Get a little rec room here. A little area to eat. We have storage over here. Um, these are incubator beds. I don't know why they're here. We don't use them. We don't have any vehicles to transport them. But hey, we got them. Oh, that incubators. Uh, the self-contained uh, people with contagious diseases and stuff like that. You put them in there. Got some field packs there. Got some other tools, toolbox axes in here 
Uh, oh, sorry guys, I didn't know you were all trying. This is our training room. Just doing a video of, of the station, don't mind me. Okay, we got the video. They got class, we'll leave them alone. We got a nice refrigerator, kitchen cabinets, we got a nice area to sit down, water, trash, stuff like that. We also have another floor. Another day room. These are where we keep our gear. Here we got some beds here. If you want to spend the night. You can. It's more gear. And we got a fire pole. How do you go down the fire pole? Yeah, that's how you go down the fire pole. See, so we got a fire pole. But we can go up this way. And we got, I think this is the roof access. And we do have a helicopter here. <coughs> and a helipad on top of here. We got our AC. Um, we have sal we have regular TV and we, this is for our internet and uh, communications. But we got a nice helicopter. This is what we used for fighting. Why you like that? I don't know why you like that. But we use this for fighting um, forest fires, dump water, and stuff like that. We have two guys who are pilots. They also work for... One works for... Um, uh, on our department, one works for Life Flight, the other one is a police officer, but he also volunteers here. Now, how do you get downstairs? Where's downstairs? There's downstairs. Let's go downstairs. So this is the fire department. We got that taken care of. Uh, we'll go this way. Okay, this is the forestry station uh not u.s forestry station they have a little outlet here um they, they're they just got this building up they, they still need to put um some some desks some computers some other stuff but this is their vehicle here they also hang out at the fire department with us so if they work, if they have, and they also sleep there since we don't have sleeping, but they can come on up, come running down here and go. But this is the their the vehicle. We got two, three, four U.S. Forestry. Yeah, we got four U.S. Forestry um, firefighters here, and they use this to get to the scene sometimes. And they have this one that the uh, government bought in surplus from Mayberry Fire Department. They just haven't done the logo, but this is a brush truck that they use. So two can fit in there and two can fit in there. So that's the U.S. Forestry Department. And this is their day. They put up the sign. They'll let you know what the dangers are. This is the city's mechanical bay area this is where um they come here to fix repair all the vehicles and this is the service truck so in case it's broken down there they can just go out there they're they're, they're going to be getting a tow truck here soon too okay this is light light and this is their quick response vehicle or QRV. They use that to go to scene sometimes. Um, if the helicopter, there's there's two crews that work, three crews that work. No, yeah, there's two crews that work here. One on the helicopter, one on the ambulance, and they have a supervisor. So if the helicopter's busy. Um, 
the ambulance can go out and the supervisor can go out with the QRV and if the ambulance and helicopter is busy, the supervisor can go out on the QRV. You pair, uh, they're all paramedics that are especially trained in cardiac and trauma patients. So, that's their ambulance. This is their office. Uh, there's a door in case visitors can come in this way. They want their help desk and if they want reports, uh, patient reports and stuff like that, they can get it from here. A helicopter. Uh, this is the back door. Water cooler. They have an elevator. And this is where they stay. Unfortunately, the elevator doesn't stop there, but it does go straight to the roof. They have a little basketball hoop. Every once in a while they drop, they miss, and, but they, luckily they have this railing. Oh, this is, Fancy glass railings. Uh, they have life. And this is their helicopter. And as you can see, they can transport patients in here. I don't think they can open this. I think this is supposed to open from the back and load. I don't know how to do it. So this is their helicopter, life flight helicopter. So we have a life flight helicopter. So let's go down here. And this is their day room. Pictures of people. Got a little vending machine there. This is their day room here. Um, hockey, air, air hockey, foosball. And the kitchen over here. Trash bag, water, fire extinguisher. I don't know what that is. Plant. Big big TV and stuff like that. This is their storeroom. And I know you can get in here. No, this is one of the uh, bunk rooms. They got four beds here. They work 24 hour shifts. So crew one will stay in here. Crew two will stay in here and somebody brought their bike. Change of uniforms and some other stuff. Another plant. Crew two, the ambulance crew sleeps in here along with the supervisor. This is the air crew. Um, there's pilot and two, uh, one paramedic and one um, nurse. They work 24 hour shifts. Come on, let me out. Let me out. There we go. So this is life flight. Um, this is a privately owned company, but I, I went ahead and set them up here. And this door can close. I forgot to close this door. Yeah, this is life flight. I, I set up the building and stuff like that. Because the closest helicopter to us is actually uh, 100 miles away. And we have... We have a... We don't have a hospital. Uh, so when we get bad, bad things happen... We use them. Now this is the police station. Now out of this police station... Oh, um, the state troopers also work, work out of here. And this is Elm, C this is Elm Creek um, Police Department. And this the front, the desk, this is where the desk sergeant sits. Uh, areas, do you report and stuff like that. Server. 
do there's a holding cell let's see so they can hold pe prisoners here while they're doing the paperwork before they transfer them next door to the jail which is run by the sheriff's department county jail uh let's go upstairs Got some more desk areas. Stuff like that. This is their training. This is their training room. Um, that's a chalkboard that they haven't put up yet. It'll be taken care of. I don't know what that is. It's like a joystick. Or a stapler for, I don't know. So this is their training room. Or roll call room. We'll just call it a roll call room. This is their roll call room. They also do training there. This is their armory. They got the shotguns here. Some rifles here also. Shotguns and rifles. Little work area to repair things, walkie talkies, and specialized equipment for the SWAT team. So, got that. Nothing really here. Let's see what's up here. I really haven't walked this building. It's just a roof. Oh, they have a helicopter pad on here. I put a helicopter pad over there. I should put that, I should just land. Should I built that for them? I should have just had them laying here. They have a helipad on top. I didn't know that. I placed the damn building. Uh, air conditioner. It, unlike the light flight, they don't have any railings so that you can fall off. So we got this going. Let's go downstairs. Okay. Close the door behind us. I've got to close the door behind us. Like I said, state there's three state troopers. They work. Oh, uh, you know, there's a couple. There's a couple state troopers that work out of here. And the police department here. We've got a small visitor to check in. We've got a small. Jail here. Interrogation room. And I did not want to do that. Nope, can't fit. Dang, damn it. Okay. Well, we're here. I'll go back to this. So, police cars out here, they have their own uh, flatbed tow truck, so. They can tow illegally parked cars and stuff like that. This is their SWAT vehicle. Um, this is their vehicle for fares and stuff like that. Um, this is part of their SWAT equipment. Barricade. They can break down stuff and people are barricaded and stuff like that. Um, this is, this is the city of Elm Creek's newest, newest vehicle. This is their pursuit vehicle. This thing can go 321 miles an hour, and I know because I've done it. And it's a Dodge Charger with a Hellcat in it. <laughs> this mod did not come from Lambo. All these did. The rest of them have come from Lambo. Modding, which is... Link down below. They also have um, police tractor trailer. This is a mobile command center that they set up. This this sets up and works really well. They can take that. They set this up for fairs. They also use they use this as base as a fair. And and different situations. This is the actually the sheriff's department. 
Uh, <coughs> but even though it says police, this is the sheriff's department horse trailer. This is one of the sheriff's department um, vehicle. And again, these are from Lambo modding. Link down below for them. So we got that. And police department has this little um, vehicle, uh, trailer here. And this is the helipad for their police helicopter. There's no markings on it, but they use this. Even though we're a small city, police have their own helicopter. They use them for chases and stuff like that. This is their... This is in and this is out. This is a gated... This, this area is a restricted area. It's only police and sheriffs and state troopers are allowed back here. They have a guard. Who's one of the farmers today? But they have a guard, they have a little bathroom there, coffee, a microwave, a refrigerator. So they they stay here during the shifts. So and this mod is part of the uh elk something. I, I don't know where I got this. I think I got this from Mod Hub. I'm not sure. Now the light light is Lambo. All the other buildings are Lambo around here, except for that shed here, and those, that, but the tower, which I forgot to show you. Okay, we will come in here. We were in this building, and then I got booted out. Okay, so. This is check-in area. Oh, this is the garage. Okay, this is where the police fix their vehicles. This is an interrogation room slash holding cell. They need it. They really don't use this building that much. Now we'll go take a look at the county jail. Sheriff's Department runs the county jail. Um, this vehicle is for prisoners transport. Oh, that's the cells. That's one. And this is the county jail. A, B, C, and D. There we go. C block. These are the cells, toilet, little sink for water. Then you get matches here. All the cells are identical. A little wreck area for the prisoners. Well, from the second floor, like I said, all the cells, when it's blinking red, that means they're locked in. Windows, so, so everything you can see everything that's going on in the guards. Check them in. Check on them. I can see what they're doing. But that's the city jail. See Bach. And this door does work. 
close that. There. Okay, doors closed. Sheriff's department. Like I said, all these are from. This is them. Uh, no, that's supposed to say. Yeah, it's supposed to, this is Elm, Elm Creek County Sheriff's. The city is, is Elm Creek, and the county is also named El, Elm Creek. And there's one thing I forgot to show you all. This is what I've done so far. Um, Forest officer, come in here, climb the tower. Climb the tower. Farming Simulator 22 is not actually walk friendly. You can climb this tower. Almost there. It's a tall tower. It really is. Lambo did a lot of work on this tower. This is one of many fire towers in the county. There we go. That's it. And they're both they're all the same. But this is the fire tower. I got a little seat. You can see what's going on. See if it, you can see any smoke. And there's a couple towers. Uh, I think there's one over there and one over there. I don't know. But this actually gives you a great view of the city. That's the city. That's it. That's it for the city. Everything else is farmland. There'll be some commercial. Be some more people going in here. Ah, you can pick this up. Ah, I did not know you could do that. Lambo did it. Pick this up. Oh, you can. And you can throw it. Oh, oh you got a basket. Can you pick up the basketball. Oh, you can. Doesn't bounce. Must not have no air. But you got some good thing. A generator. So if you want. Start the generator. Plug it in. And, plug, and if you have. Like you want to charge your phone or have a radio playing while you're up here, you can do that. Let's see, can you jump out of here? No. Nope. Jump out of here? No. Nope. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Thank you. So that's it. This is all the emergency vehicles that we have. I'm still working on some of this stuff. But that's it. We got the police department and fire department and all the emergency vehicles set up for this town. So we're good to go. The old fire department's not being used anymore. That it's it's turned into a social hall. Still have the bays and stuff like that, and they still they still have some equipment stored. But that's it. So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and bell. That way you know when the latest videos I do come along and when I go live here on YouTube. Also do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like I get gets these gets this video seen a little bit more, which helps grow this channel. And if you have a comment, suggestion, 
let me know down below. I will leave a link to, um, I get most of my mods either from Mod Hub, um, Papa Smurfs, or Lambo. Botting. I'll leave a link. Mod Hub, I'll leave a link to, um, Papa Smurf, and I will leave a link to, um, Lambo's Patreon page. So if you're interested in this stuff, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> Excuse me. So, as always, have fun playing your games. Be safe out there in the world, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.